Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today I wanted to talk potentially for the last time about the whole Cloud9 and LS situation a little bit again because LS, he's back in Korea, he's been streaming, he's been saying some stuff uh, and I do actually think there are some very, very interesting things that could tell us, um, you know, kind of the future or, or the whole kind of resolution to this story. Um, obviously, I know I've made a lot of videos about this topic. It's been a huge topic. Again, I really do think this might be the biggest story that we get all of 2022 so i've had to cover it appropriately the videos have been doing well the channel's been doing well but i think for the most part people are starting to get a little bit tired of this whole thing um so hey this might be one of the last videos we do it might be the last video we do on this um but i do think there will be some good stuff in this one again that, that might give you guys some pretty good insight so hopefully you do still enjoy it hopefully uh you'll stick with me for one last time so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video i'd appreciate that a ton and subscribe to save today and all my latest content with that being said let's get right into this we have this clip from based lol this is a couple days ago ls on stream again he's back in korea he's co-streaming uh kt versus bro um which i think is uh fredit brian um and yeah this is obviously called ls talks about fallout nemesis and why he shouldn't have joined c9 that was spicy enough and interesting enough for me to click on it so let's see what he has to say no i think nemesis has i think nemesis has rights to be angry with me to be honest the reality is, I mean, I said this to him, I'll say this here too. When he decided not to go to Cloud9, I shouldn't have gone either. I shouldn't have gone either. So that's kind of interesting, obviously. Maybe the first time uh, that he's saying he, he should not have joined Cloud9 publicly. Um, obviously saying that once Nemesis didn't go, he shouldn't have gone. Maybe because, um, obviously, they have a strong relationship. Maybe there were some reasons why Nemesis didn't want to join. Uh, maybe Nemesis had even advised LS against joining. Um, but, yeah, very, very interesting. And I wonder how much this these past couple of weeks uh, obviously influence LS saying that. You know, what if LS had a great year with C9? What if they did a ton of amazing things? What if this year went well? Would he still have said he shouldn't have joined C9? Or is he only um, saying it because they had this falling out? Was he feeling some, some weirdness and, and stuff that he shouldn't have joined anyway? Obviously, people have been speculating about the fallout between LS and, and Nemesis anyway. It seems like they haven't been talking a bunch. I know Nemesis told, or LS said that he told Nemesis about when he got fired. Nemesis didn't respond. You know, all this stuff. It seems like their relationship, which was once very, very close, it seems like, uh, at least from what we're getting publicly, it's it's been kind of deteriorating and stuff. Maybe he misses his friend. Maybe he regrets... Um, um, you know where their relationship is these days or or you know maybe uh there's more to it i don't know once he decides not to go i asked him to come out to korea i got him on gen g we were supposed to do stuff together and then i wanted to do cloud nine because i thought this would be the last chance that we could ever come close to getting a team that could maybe do something i thought this was probably the only chance to do it so i really 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 wanted to do it and then Nemesis didn't want to do it, and then I went I went ahead with it anyway, and I got really upset at him. I got really, really angry. Um, and I think that's kind of interesting as well. You know, maybe this is very, very speculative. Maybe this is deep, digging too deep. Maybe this is reaching. But obviously, uh, you know, LS hints at the fact that he got really, really angry with him. Who knows what he said? Who knows what he did? Could that be some of the fallout that him and Nemesis have had in their relationship? Yes, absolutely. Uh, possibly. Again, that's very speculative. Um, but I, I at least wanted to get that thought out there. But then also, it gives you a, maybe some insight into what was maybe going on behind the scenes with LS and Cloud9. If LS is willing to get very, very angry, you know, from his own words, with his own friends, and be very upset, and, you know, you assume, argue, yell, say some mean things, you know, whatever. Um, you know, what was he like behind the scenes at Cloud9 with, with maybe people that weren't his friends? Some people are more prone to lashing out against their friends since they feel comfortable close some people will lash out more against people who aren't their friends so uh you know it just kind of goes back to the, the fact that hey i've said maybe he has some communication issues maybe he has some anger issues maybe uh he just you know for whatever reason has has some problems with stuff like this which i don't think are good issues for for a coach to have uh, or someone in a professional environment to have um and, you know could it have been some of the issues he had with cloud nine i don't know because now we've heard malice come out and say some things maybe malice deserved it maybe he didn't i know i've heard stuff on both sides now we're hearing how ls and nemesis have maybe butted heads and and everyone butts head with their friends everyone has arguments everyone lashes out sometimes everyone gets angry upset but um again just just some thoughts just some thoughts and then I felt committed to Fudge and Max at that point. But in reality, he came to Korea 
And then I also left him. Like, I went to Daejeon because I was so mentally unwell. I was really mentally unwell. I, I was... I don't want to go into the extent of how mentally unwell I was in August and September, but I needed to get out. I needed to disconnect from League of Legends. I needed to disconnect from my computer. I needed to disconnect 110% from everything because if I didn't, I thought... I really thought I would not make it. Um, I was so burned out and just depressed and like other stuff. And I disconnected. Um... But what that meant is that, like, he was with me for four months, and then I disconnected. And then I, you know, we would talk and stuff, we would do content and all this other stuff, and then the C9 stuff happened. But when he decided not to go, I shouldn't have gone either. And I think some of that's very interesting as well. Obviously, I know LS was very, you know, open and honest in public last year about how he was feeling burnt out, how the schedule and content, everything that he was doing last year, he wasn't going to be able to maintain and he was never going to do it again, yada, yada, yada. And a lot of people speculated, hey, maybe that's why he decided to get into coaching this year because it was something different because it was going to be a new challenge. It was not going to be the stuff that got him to that horrible place mentally last year. But now... You know, he's he's right back in kind of a similar position, it seems like, where he's saying, hey, I'm never going to coach again. I'm about to grind out content. I'm about to be, you know, co-streaming, live viewing, LCK, LPL, LCS, all over the place, doing this, that, that. And, you know, I'm at least personally thinking, hey, are you just going to get burned out again? Is this kind of a recipe for disaster all over again? Is this, are you going to have some of these same issues? What's next? Um, he's saying he's reinvigorated. He's saying he's got a third win, but, you know, who knows? I, I guess we'll see. But again, he is reiterating, I should not have joined C9. Because it should have been together or nothing. But then I felt committed to Max and Fudge. And, like, other staff members who were able to join. I've already said all of this to him. I was really angry with him for... I don't even know how long I was really angry. I think Nemesis is... Uh, I. I know a lot of people will meme me, but I, I genuinely think Nemesis is the best Western mid laner. And that's where I got to cut it off. That's where he starts to lose me. I do appreciate him being open and honest, but once you say Nemesis is the best Western mid laner, that's where I'm done. But a lot of that stuff, he kind of reiterates again. He shouldn't have joined Cloud9. He re reiterates again just how angry and just how upset for an extended period of time he was with Nemesis. So I know a lot of people have questions of like, hey, what's your relationship with Nemesis like? Why are you guys on bad terms? Whatever. That could definitely be an issue there. And again, him getting so angry, so upset, so frustrated, potentially lashing out against one of his better friends, it seems like, or at least someone who he has a good, close relationship with. Uh, I do think if you want to reach and you want to speculate, could maybe give us a little peel back behind the curtains of maybe something that could have been going on at C9. Now, that doesn't mean it is. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying that's at least what I'm thinking. Like, you know, if you're lashing out against your friends, talking to them some type of way, to get super, super mad about all this stuff, um, you know, because you had a disagreement with them or they weren't on the exact same page as you, what was it like when your players had disagreements with you? What was it like when your players, uh, you know, weren't on the same page, you had disagreements, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and like I said, I know we've gotten to see, obviously a lot of his life has been streamed live to us on Twitch and we've gotten to see how he's interacted with a lot of people in the past, how he speaks to people at times. Um, Seems like he did the same thing to Nemesis as well. I don't know, but I did think it was very, very interesting that he says he should have never joined Cloud9. Obviously, I think that's very, very easy to say after we know everything that happened. You know, hindsight's 2020. but I want to know, like, hey, three weeks ago, would he have said the same thing? I don't know, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. Uh, like I said, this might be the last video on this whole LSC9 situation. Who knows? We'll have to see if anything else comes out, but um, it seems like we're getting to the end of the real, real, real juicy stuff, um, and it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting any bombs or dunks or anything like that. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one, but until then, peace.